This clip is about the geography and some famous cities of the United States of America. You should take notes of important information. You can find this clip and the written out lecture as well as the PowerPoint presentation on the ALO. Learn the information in this clip for the test of culture and history. The continent America is split up into North and South America. Both of those names have nothing to do with the USA. The United States of America are the 50 states that form the country. The USA is part of the continent of North America together with Canada above it and Mexico below it. When talking about the USA, people often talk about America. Of course, everyone will understand what you are talking about, but please use the term US or USA during this chapter. As said, the US is a country divided into 50 states. You can see all of the names of the states here, but you only have to learn the states and abbreviations that we have highlighted down here. The main capital of the USA is Washington, officially called Washington DC, so to not confuse the city of Washington with the state of Washington, which is on the other side of the country. DC stands for District of Columbia, a separate part of the USA, and it is not a part of any state. It is the city where the federal government resides, and you can also find the White House in this capital. Each state of the USA has its own flag, but don't worry, you don't have to learn these all. The national flag of the USA has an important meaning. If you count the stars on the flag, you will see that there are 50, the number of states. And when you count the stripes, you will come to see that there are 13 the number of states which founded the USA in 1776. The name of the flag is Stars and Stripes. The national anthem is called the Star Spangled Banner. So, to sum up, the United States of America are the 50 states, with the main capital being Washington, D.C. About 324 million people live in the USA, and every year this number grows because of immigration. In comparison, three years ago, only 314 million people lived in the US. The official name we use when talking about America is the United States of America, and the flag is called Stars and Stripes, while the national anthem is called the Star Spangled Banner. The USA has long been divided into two, the northern states and the southern states. The states in the south of the US were for slavery, while the North was against it. The Civil War was started because of this disagreement. This eventually led to the abolishment of slavery in 1863. Famous cities you might have heard of are Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami, Chicago or San Francisco. Of course, there are many more well-known cities. Las Vegas is mostly known for its gambling area called The Strip, but Las Vegas is much larger than just that one street. Of course, gambling is a large part of the Las Vegas income, but outside the Strip, people just work in regular jobs, like anywhere else. Los Angeles is sometimes called the City of Angels because its name is Spanish for the Angels. It is also called the City of Dreams because many people go there to become famous. However, only few succeed at that. New York, officially called New York City because there is also a state called New York, is often thought to be the capital of the USA, maybe because it is the most famous city in the US. In 2001, New York was hit by a terrorist attack in which four planes were hijacked, two of which flew into the two highest towers of the World Trade Center. This day, which became known as 9-11, or 11 September, is still remembered every year and there is a huge memorial you can visit as well as a museum and a newly built subway station with a special roof. You all know about this event so we're not going to talk to about it too much. New York is also the place where immigrants first came through. Staten Island was the island where immigrants had to be registered before they could enter the USA. You will also find the Statue of Liberty near here, which was a gift from the French people. 
It depicts a female, the goddess of freedom, who holds a torch and a book of the law in her hands and has a broken chain at her feet. It is the first thing immigrants see when they arrive at the coast of the USA. The language spoken in the USA is called American English. American English differs from the British English. The British accent is considered to be more polite, more posh, and uses their vowels differently than the Americans do. They also have different words from the same things. Just look at the examples. Of course, because the USA is such a large country, many different dialects are spoken in the States. People from Texas sound very different from people from New York, who again speak different English than people from California. So, after this short clip, you should know a little bit more about the USA. If you need to, listen to this clip again. All information should be studied for the test. If you have any questions, just ask your teacher.